Hello, hello, and welcome. A very, very special welcome to Europa Universalis 4. I have finally got my shit together, and I am finally able to play, so let's get into this. Now, um, I was really tempted to play the Byzantine, and I will actually, I will give them a go. I will start a separate Let's Play just on the Byzantine to see if it is possible. Now, I have given it quite a good go at it, to be honest, like... If you take an ungodly amount of loans, build nothing but galleys. Because the thing about the Byzantine position here is, if you can get a fleet here of galleys, you can completely stop the Ottoman Empire's troops from crushing you. But they always have Algiers that comes in, so I don't know why Algiers tends to come in and it, it just, ah, uh, it just screws me over. So, well. I don't know. I mean, like, I'd like to play as Austria. I mean, it's very interesting playing the whole Holy Roman Empire sort of thing. But, I don't know. I mean, I, I really like the idea of colonization and expansion. I mean, Portugal is very good. Very, very good for expansion. They start with about three explorers, I'm not too sure, post 1.2 patch. But, I don't know. What, what, who could we go as? So many countries, there's so much possibility. I am tempted by Castile. I don't know why, I'm just always tempted by Spain. It's in such a good position. I mean, you have France here, so you have a natural huge enemy over here. Hmm. I mean, the possibilities here are quite literally endless. I mean, like, Austria is extremely powerful when it comes to the armies. The second largest military in the game. First being France, because France is completely overpowered in literally every respect in terms of military. But, ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Castile all the way. I will form the Spanish nation. I, ah, they're good, they're strong, they have a great economy. There's plenty to do. You can colonize Africa, you can colonize uh, South America, North America, invade Europe. But I have a little bit of an idea, to be honest. I have an idea, like, maybe, like, fabricate a claim on Constantinople and take it. Now, that would be very interesting. I don't know, can you imagine if Spain invaded Constantinople and just saved it? Well, not saved it, I mean, that would be an interesting way of putting it, of being conquered and slaughtered. Well, you know what I mean, instead of the Ottomans taking it, traditionally. Well, you know, this is, this is the things that can happen. Now, um, yeah, so this will be interesting play. Okay, so obviously we'll get our setup going first. Now, I believe the Byzantines, they, they have like maybe two, three years before they really get, well, just kind of creamed by the um, Ottomans. So what are our missions? Form the alliance with Portugal. Obviously, that's quite easy. I mean, it's literally easy. You can do it at the start. Okay, so offer alliance. Take that. Boom. And there we go. So let's sort out our fleet here. So we have some barks. Now, these are great for trade power. Which... Alright, so these are the trade nodes. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so what is our trade power within this node? So we have 27% of the trade power here. Portugal has 40. Yeah, which is quite annoying. But then again, they do have Lisboa, which is a pretty damn wealthy city. Yeah, it's 13 tax base. Let's compare that with Constantinople of 11. So they are very wealthy. Okay, and there's also the Bordeaux trade node. But I don't know. We're not really going to be getting much out of this. What is our merchant doing here? He's collecting trade. Now just look at our trade power here. I mean, yeah, Castile, 6%. It's not worth it in my opinion. So what we're going to do is, hmm. Now these trade nodes, all the trade lines. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send our merchant here. Okay, when he's back in a few days anyway. And then we can have him to transfer the trade power down here, so then we can gain a little bit more ka-ching. Okay, so we start with canaries over here, and they're already called, which is great. Right, so we have 21,000 men to play with, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this going. Right there, set there. Separate our carracks and transports. Nice. Right, what advisors can we get? By the way, I'm using a UI mod, an improved text mod. It makes the, uh, it makes the like, well, text bigger and like the important things green, which is awesome. It makes it so much easier to understand what the heck is going on. Okay, so what is our king? 
Oh, he's actually pretty terrible, to be honest. 1-1-2, one, one, that is pretty bad. Oh god, that air is even worse. What is going on here? Oh, right, we've not got a good king to start with. That's it's not bad, but yeah. Now prestige, yearly prestige plus one. That is actually pretty useful, to be honest. I mean, prestige gives you all these little bonuses that can really make a difference when it comes down to it. Now let's see, global trade power, diplomatic reputations, diplomatic reputations, of course, that is going to make such a good, big difference. Land modifier, ah, land maintenance modifier, or national, oh, he's free. Okay, so we're going to go for him. All right, so we have our free advisors, we're still making about five gold per, well, per year. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down to, let's get it down to about five. There we go. Ah, that'll do, 499. And then at least we're making a little bit extra cash. But then again, how much is it? No, it's not really worth it, is it? We'll just keep our military there. Keep it the well-oiled machine that it is. Okay, so we're going to take it out here. Right, let's see. Right, we're going to really take it slow. Shit. <laughs> I did not mean to click that. Now, what was our mission again? Um, Royal Marriage of Portugal. Now, this is pretty easy. I mean, they're going to accept us pretty much straight away. Okay. Let's bump this up a sec. Come on. There we go. Okay, royal marriage achieved. With cry engine free. Right. There we go. Now let's see. Okay. I've noticed there's a little bit of a bug with this. I, I, I'm not too sure actually. I mean, you can get the same messages twice. Now, what I find quite annoying is that the missions can sometimes be helpful, but sometimes. Well, most of the time, they tend to veer off in a, in a direction I do not like to take. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Huh. They don't really like us that much, actually. How about Aragon? Well, actually, we're going to... What is Navarra's tax base, actually? I would like to view your... There we go. Uh, so it's five. No, that's okay. Now what do we want to do? Do we want to keep on side with Aragon or no? Navarra. Okay, so we're just gonna set up a royal marriage here, that's great. Wow, we should probably turn the speed down, that would probably help. Okay, there we go. An alliance from Navarra, great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a guarantee on these. I mean the guarantee what it is, it's kinda of like an alliance to be honest, it's pretty much like an alliance. Except it doesn't work if you're attacked. They won't come to your aid. But, right, so we can vassalize them. But we need 190 opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a diplomat there just to start improving relations. Just get that going. Get that train going. Right, we'll move to Toledo. Oh, no, Madrid, sorry. Okay, so we'll pause here. Okay, wait for our diplomat to be able to go over there. So the 3rd of March, okay, so my birthday is 15 days later. Uh, only about 600 years later now. <laughs> well, <coughs> give or take. So let's see. Influence, right, there we go. Proclaim guarantee. Now, we are guaranteeing their independence. So if Aragon attacks, we, we well, we're automatically drawn into war. It's quite useful, actually, if you want to get into war against someone without directly fabricating claims, which can lead to a little nasty thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our army there. Now we do have a decent general, I suppose. Now we can have seven more units. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go five infantry and two knights. Actually, no, we'll get end of a knight. Four, three. That'll be okay. Right. Ah... Now what we're we making? Right, we're still making a fair amount. This is why I like Castile. You make quite a lot of money quite easily. So, right, we can build some buildings, but that's only in the Canaries. What do we want? Do we want Carracks, Barks, Galley, or some early Carracks? Now Carracks are pretty expensive. Fifty gold a pop is pretty damn expensive. Okay, is there any other mission that we can probably take? No, not really. Now it seems Aragon is kind of gearing up for an attack on Navarra, to be honest. Okay. That just sucks. Maria. 
Okay. Uh, and our stability is already down. That is quite annoying, actually. Exceedingly annoying, as that has never happened before. Great. So that's going to set us back a little bit. That just makes everything just that bit more expensive. Gives us that bit more revolt risk, which is not fun. So can we... Um, oh, Salzburg. No. Right. Oh, a new candle. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Right, so the current uh, controller at the moment is Burgundy. We need to make a move. Right, we'll start investing in... Nimiro Vichas. Vichas. Whatever. <laughs> I'm terrible at pronouncing. Okay. Hmm. Now Portugal is going to make a claim on Tangiers sometime soon. I believe they do get a mission for that. Now, that may happen in a year or two, give or take. But we can continue with Reconquista in 1499. No, 1449, sorry. Uh, I believe we... Yes. Uh, true, true. Aragon, Castile and Portugal. Um, let's see, how can we check our truces, actually? Let's find this. Right, truce, truce, truce. What does it say? There we go. Yeah, truce for... Oh, oh, 1488. Oh. Oh, I see. So, 14... Right, January 1st, 1448. Right. Got that noted. That's the day we attack. Okay, so we'll farm our troops up here. Can we recruit another general? Just make it. Is he going to start costing us? How much will he actually cost us? Advisors, da 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 Hmm. How much you... Wow, we really do have a good general there. Hmm. I don't know, I'm going to keep this army around. Actually, what is our naval? Right, so we have a naval force limit of 24. So we can build a few ships, actually. Right, Latin in Medieval Infantry or Hellbird Infantry. Okay, so what the difference is between them? Right, so the Latin... One offensive morale, one defensive morale. Two offensive morale. Hmm. We're gonna go offensive. I believe the attack is the best form of defense. Now, Aragon is actually quite weak at the moment, which I'm hoping they stay weak. Mostly because if it if it comes to war with Navarra, well, over Navarra, then we're in a good position. We will be able to, like, hold them. Now, the Iberian Peninsula, by that I mean Spain, uh, modern day, yeah, modern day Portugal and Spain. Yeah, the um, Iberian Peninsula is very mountainous, to be honest. I mean, look at this. Mountains everywhere. Okay, so that reminds me, actually. Let's get this claim going. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought they'd already taken it. I was like, wait, what? I was too slow. Oh, God, I forgot you can't do that. Sorry, I mean, I'm used to Crusader Kings where you could just randomly fabricate a claim on, I don't know, the bloody moon for all you care. <laughs> Your claim on the moon has just come through. <laughs> How would you like to invade? By God, by golly! Right, there we go. Tribal Contra Quest. I will probably play Austria and the Byzantine Empire at some point. I don't know, I like the interesting challenges of them. I mean, Austria is pretty good. I mean, you get the second largest army in the game, but it's not like you can use it for yourself, really. I mean, you will get drawn into wars because you are the Emperor of Mankind. War. War never changes. Well, it does. It changes the location, but you know what I mean. Right, so we're going to invest a few more paper points in there. Oh, yeah. Right, so our carrots are doing fine. Carrots be carrotting. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we got 5.4 paper influence. Is it worth it? Can we try and get a second guy? If we can get two cardinals into the um, courier or Korea, Korea, whatever you want to say, then we can try and become the, uh, what is it, the Korea controller. And this gives you an amazing benefit of having another diplomat. What's this? Yeah, a third diplomatic, well, just a third diplomat at this point is just so incredibly powerful. 
is actually just so useful. It's not even funny how useful it is. Okay, so that's for military rise, blah blah blah. Is there any way that we can possibly... 117 gold. Now, how much would we get from gifting them? And then again, is it worth it? Hello. Where over cities attract serves. Where's... Um, Right, so tax base there of four. Right, which game's it? Toledo. Okay. And eleven. Right. No, it's not worth it, especially losing the stability as well. No, it is just completely it is just not worth it. Okay. Finish the reconquered star. We will in two years. We actually get quite a nice reward for that and lose four war resortion. That's pretty good. Now hmm. Wars in Ireland. By the way, sorry if it's like, it sounds like there's cut breaks. There's pretty much cut breaks. My family's been quite annoyed now, and they randomly come in. But okay, we're over. I've explained it, everything's cool. Right, let's get back to the real meat. The meat. Right, um, what does Aragon actually have? Ledger, let's go check this out. Country, right, what was our maximum manpower? It's 25,000, we have 14,500 at the moment, Aragon. Max man, power 23,000. Uh, prestige, income, treasury. They have a really small treasury, but they have quite a large incro uh, income. <laughs> Score comparison, nation's technologies, province overview, number of provinces, colonizers, best leader in the world. Wow. Wow. Five shock. <laughs> wow, the best general in the world belongs to Naples, and then France, Aragon, France. Where, where are we ranked here? Even Navarra has a better general than we do? Wow. Aragon again. Oh my god. <laughs> Byzantium has a better general? Two better generals? Oh my god. Wow. We suck. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, here we go, armies. Right. So, Aragon, Aragon, Aragon. Is it Aragon? Yeah, it is Aragon. There we are. Right, so they have 15,000 infantry and 6,000 cavalry. So they have 21,000 men in total. Now that must be somewhere down here or on the ship somewhere, because I can't see it. Unless it's being built, I suppose. We do outnumber them, which is something. Actually, that reminds me, um... Where was it? Ah, oh, damn it! I thought we had, um... I thought we had somebody who would increase our, like, land military unit limit. Now, that would've been great. To have a couple more units knock around, that would've been absolutely excellent. So, 16th of October, 1446. Come on, speed up. Right, uh... Okay, so we're going to set this to speed 5. Let it take over. Come on. Let's get this going. Jeez, the mums are just flying by. What are we actually doing here? Sorry. Right. Oh, wow, it took that long. Right, so we have to put two in him. Okay, I don't mind. Right, how is this relationship building? Right, come down to 4 speed. There's a really big difference between 4 and 5 speed, like literally. It's, it's actually quite funny. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to see... Right. Is it not go up? Is it only 25? It's still pretty good though. Is that the lowest? Okay. We'll send Navara a gift of 25 in that 
brings us up to 180. Mike, oh, here we go. And the Byzantines are basically had it. Wow, Byzantine opinion about Castile. <laughs> they really don't like us. Oh, probably going to be wiped out maybe a month or two, something like that. Maybe about a year, I suppose. And they really just don't have a chance. I think it's actually hard in 1.2 because of the... Um, well, they've added attrition when sieging. Like, no matter how many troops are there or whatever, there's still the attrition. Oh, so what is this? Gay oh, wow. Officer Herman, da da da. One of your advisors did a 50 administrative power all and lose 20 paper influence. You know what, I'm going to take the admin power. I don't think we actually have a need for an inquisitor yet. We do not have any provinces to actually convert yet. So we're going to take that extra bit of the administrative power, we can use that to try and go for, well, take level 4 in admin power. Well, administrative technology, like, uh, just light up some bulbs, like bulb this light like national ideas, get some more ideas going. Like keep the Mamluks. Strange. I thought Cyprus was actually, like, a vassal of them, actually. Okay, so, oh, we're at minus one. Right, yeah, we're not going to get that, are we, really? Pretty much a lost cause. Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Where have your troops gone? You're not in any uh, kind of silly wars, are you? Tyrone. Hmm, or Tyrone. Tyrone. Tyrone? I don't know. Uh, fine promises. Tri there we go. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Portugal's invaded Ireland. <laughs> oh, the crazy already started. What the hell? Oh, that is going to piss off England so much. Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> Portugal says 10,000 troops. Now, oh, God, I could just crush Portugal if I had a claim. Right, we can... Right, there we go. Vassal. Yours. Right, now we can bring it back down to free and play the game, probably. All oh, this once in a lifetime opportunity to become our vassals, we now gain half of their, like, tax income. That's awesome. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to base our troops in Navarra. Well, this army of 7,000 at least. Now this gives us a little bit more to play with. Now we're at the end of the 100 years war, pretty much. I mean, where France is kicking England out. Alright, so we can build some provincial, 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 provincial. You know what I'm trying to say. We can build some upgrades to our shit, basically. <laughs> Burn it bluntly. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're just basically letting time tick by here. Oh, 1449. Oh my God, I missed it. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue and finish the reconquista. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down there. We can actually bring our troops here to... We form some kind... We'll form an alliance with Aragon just to help us... Well, just break this quickly. Why have I got a new... Right. Select. That's quite silly. Alliance from... Who are these? Where are you? Wow, that's kind of random. No, of course not. Why would I accept it when they're so damn far away? Quite silly. Oops. Oops. No, I am not ally. Ah, uh, you get these random little pop-ups from like little German states. Maybe if I was interested in Central Europe, then maybe. Do you know what? Actually, that's quite an interesting thing. I may have to go for them sometime. They have all these up here. Well, they would if they weren't being eaten alive by Chimera. Or Crimea. Chimera? Oh my god, I've played too much of like... <laughs> I've played too much Resistance Fall on Man to say Chimera anymore. Uh, Crimea. Crimea? The Crimea. That's it. Whatever. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Well, we're going to bring it in. 
Like Blue Hood. There we go. Alright, so let's bring this down. Charge! For the Emperor! Oh, that reminds me actually. Um, our Karak's here. Can't believe I forgot about that actually. There we go, we do have our general here. Not here though. Just give him a general. Okay, so they are in a... I don't like having to attack a... Wow, that was a lot of damage. Right. Now they're starting to take it. Yeah, there we go. Speed this up. Okay, is this... Morocco and Granada. We are all Granada. I mean, uh, with Morocco. We are indeed. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Ragusa? Naples? I guess and these must be allies of them. Morocco, Granada, Tunisia. Okay, so basically North Africa. But they got nothing on us. <laughs> right. Issue embargo. Oh, that reminds me, we need to set some rivals. So, who could we set as a rival, actually? Ah. Interesting. I don't really know who. I guess we'll set Granada as a rival, just because it'll, like, quicken up the war. I mean, they're blockaded, and we're just smashing them, so it's not like they can go anywhere. Hmm. Come oh, on. Whenever you want to finish the war. Granada and Aragon sent some troops finally. Strange how Aragon's put them there. No, oh, strange. How odd. Portugal? How is Portugal's invasion? Like. I don't understand. What, what did they want to do there? They have no core there. That's just bizarre. I like, can't really see reason for why they did that. Okay, let's up the speed here again. Oh man. There we go, now we're starting to get it. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. 262 days of siege. Are we catching ships? Yes, we are. Oh, thank god, wow, yes. One extra stability, hell yeah. Alright, build that back up, there we go. Right, so we are going to have to invade Tunisia, Morocco, Algiers, okay. I can do that, I can handle it. Where's my transports? Are they mixed in here? No, they're moored. Moored? Harboured. Anchored. That's the word. Um, seven. Oh, that'll do nicely. Take this leader. Okay, so you have no leader anyway. There we go. Ah, uh, Ragusa, wow. Okay, so we're getting some troops down here. Where to invade? Here. Oh god. You know what? Keep them there. Let's, let's invade here. This fleet, of course. Right. Well, we can finish off this Moroccan army once we land. We have a lot of money. We are sitting on quite a lot of money. How much are we making? 433. Right. Hmm. There's not really anything we can do with the money at the moment, to be honest. Right, is it worth it to charge them? No, they are in very, very mountainous terrain. 56% mountainous terrain, and then it's 
desert mountains. Actually, no, Portugal's coming in. Let's get in with Portugal. So they will arrive. 17th. 